I love this salad because it's really easy to whip up and the best thing about it is the two main ingredients are probably going to be in your pantry. I'm using some canned salmon and risotto. Now to bulk out this salad we need some veggies and my choice of veggies are asparagus and some peas. I just want to take away the stalky ends and then I'll cut them into two to three centimetre pieces. Now the stalks take a little bit longer to cook, so I'll add them to the pot, just rapidly boiling water. I'll add a good pinch of salt just to season it. And then you want to give that a head start. I don't want to overcook the asparagus. I want them to really have that lovely crunch. So what we need to do is essentially bring the water back up to the boil and then remove it. That's a good indication of how long to blanch. So it's time to add the tips of the asparagus and then good old peas that are in your freezer. I've always got some peas on standby, again, for salads like this that I want to whip up in a flash. And then again, we'll wait for that water to come back up to the boil. Have a bowl of iced water on standby, of course, to cool them down so they stop cooking, but also to keep that vibrant green colour. So now that that's come back up to the boil, we'll just drain that and then straight into that cold water. Now we're not going to get rid of this water because there's so much flavour in there from our peas and asparagus. I'll now use that to cook our pasta. Rizzoni is such a great ingredient to use because it cooks quite quickly. It's the shape of rice, so you can see why this only cooks in about seven to eight minutes. So a few handfuls of the risoni into the water and just to ensure that it doesn't stick, we'll just give it a quick stir. Now while that's cooking let's get on to a really lovely dressing. A nice generous spoonful of Dijon mustard straight into a large bowl. So we'll mix that in with our sour cream. I love the tanginess of the sour cream that's why I'm using it. And then just to cut through the richness of this dressing we need some lemon zest. Good old lemon zest is great in dressings. And then to loosen up this dressing, a little bit of lemon. Also, we need the acidity from the lemon too. So good squeeze of that lemon juice. A pinch of salt. Not too much because the Dijon mustard is salty. And some good quality extra virgin olive oil. About a tablespoon. And a good crack of pepper. Now I need some fresh herbs in this and dill and salmon best mates. So that's my choice for this. We'll just take off the woody stalks and we'll scrunch it up and we'll finely chop it. It's a lot of dill but I really want to taste it in the dressing. If you don't like dill, and I know a lot of my friends out there that don't like dill because it is quite strong, you can use parsley for this or even some chives are really really nice. Great. Now just gather that up and pop that into the bowl. Now I want a mild onion flavour, so some spring onions and I just want the white and the light green part. Perfect. Now just grab a whisk and mix all of this together. Look how lovely that looks. Always have a taste to make sure the seasoning is correct. Ooh. That is so yummy. You know, another thing you could add to this is horseradish, just to give it that really nice peppery zing. Yum oh. All right, dressing's done. I'll just strain my canned salmon. I'm using salmon that's in natural water because I don't want it to be too oily. And you can see there's nice big chunks in the salmon and then there's little bits. I like the two textures for this. So we'll just let that drain off. We'll wait for our pasta to finish cooking. I think that's got about five more minutes. We'll refresh it, cool it down a little bit and bring this whole salad together. Now our four components are ready to go. The risotto has chilled nicely, so we can add that to our creamy mustardy dressing, along with our vibrant green vegetables that are still crunchy. I've drained them off and ensure there's no water because I don't want a watery salad. And then our flaked salmon, and then all we need to do is just mix this up. If you were taking this to a barbecue, what I would do is just leave it as is. Don't mix it, leave the sauce on the bottom and then just toss it as soon as you get to the party so everything stays really nice and crisp. And this smells so good. The lemon's coming out, the dill. Now to plate up, nice 
generous amount of salad in the centre of the bowl. I love how the pink of the salmon just really pops against all of the green in the salad and that bowl. A little bit more. Perfect. I'm going to have a taste of this one. Mm. That is a seriously good salmon salad. Really nice and quick to do. Fresh flavours. Do that one next time you have some friends coming over.